everybody as most of you have heard monique is asking everybody to boycott netflix due to a deal that they offered her offering her half a million dollars she is citing everything from sexist to racism all kinds of different inequalities and i am here to tell you this I will not be boycotting Netflix for the simple fact I don't see any racism going on, anything for women or women are being treated in, uh, poorly or anything like this is going on. <laughs> She's going on about her track record, her resume and what have you. And the problem here is Monique needs a new man. Her husband is entirely ruining her career. He has ruined her career. It's a lot of things that go on in the, in the industry that people have to put up with every day. It's just like being at any other job. It's some BS at all jobs. The thing is, a lot of them is, is kept either behind closed doors or on a level to be dealt with. Monique's husband put it in her mind and in her head for her to go out here and carry all of this to the public. He's always instilling in her head to do this, that, and the other. Everything is not meant to be broadcasted. Everything is not meant to be told. Some things are meant to be handled behind closed doors. But when they try to handle things behind closed doors and they don't do the way they want them to go, the way they intend for them to go, the way her husband intends for them to go. Because, see, Monique was negotiating fine before he came. It wasn't to me that she was tolerating that BS, but she did what she had to. She was a businesswoman, and you work and you know she negotiated. Now that he's come along and took over her career, he's basically saying, well, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it this way. His way is ruining her. It has ruined her. And at this point, the best thing for her to do is find a new manager or either find a new husband manager altogether. Just because he's saying it does not mean it's correct. Some women tend to fall in love and they think that man this gold because he gave you some good Peter and that he treating you like no other man that came. Honey, there's, a, there's another man out there somewhere that can love you like this one is loving you and not steer you wrong in your career. If he's a good husband, then by all means, keep him as a good husband. But you need to get rid of him as a manager. He is not manager material. He is ruining you. Like I said, some things don't need to be said. Now, they could, net, it's true, Netflix could have offered you at least a million dollars. They could have. But the problem here is, Netflix was scared they weren't going to make the 500000 back off of you. Because right now, nobody cares for you. And I'm just going to come out and say it because you burnt so many bridges. They don't know if you're going to have a good fan base to carry you because you're not relevant right now you're not in you did a movie but you hadn't been in a lot of top movies like some of the people names that you dropped have been from chris rock to amy to whoever they in some top movies and at the end of your rant you're gonna try to say if you don't do this what about tiffany haddish baby i can promise you tiffany haddish will have a $20 million deal, even if you hadn't have done this because she's relevant right now. She's popular right now. She does not need a resume. She doesn't need to be selling out any gardens of any kind. It's because she's what's hot. And that's the problem. You're not hot right now. It is nothing personal. They tried to explain that to you, but y'all want to take it to another level. So this is the problem. He, pu he pushes you to take things to another level. This is messing you up with people. It makes you keep burning bridges. Is you burning all the bridges down in the whole United States? Nobody is going to want to work with you if you keep going on at this level. Even though we are fans, we tired of hearing it. Because when you take a, a little molehill and keep making it to a mountain, 
claiming unfairness for every time somebody tells you wrong, it makes you look like an outraged child, like you've never been told wrong. And and it's not you to me, it's him because it's his temper tantrum. It's when they tell you no, everything that he says, he pours it into you and then it spews, it, it's like a little hole in here. He pops the hole up, he pours it in there and then you spew it out your mouth and it makes you look like the bad person while he's sitting back like this watching you. So, what I am saying to you is you need to gain control of your life. Gain control of your career. Pull yourself together. Go back to what you was doing good and being Monique, being a comedian and stop this temper tantrum, being this brat, being this person that nobody likes because this is a side of you we haven't seen and we don't like it. As a fan, we don't like it because it's not supporting anything good it's just tearing down more black people so you cannot stand around and say a black person being bashed or being torn down when you stand around and you tear down more black people they have done some wrong things to you they have apologized for doing some things to you you have to apologize for some of the things you've done you didn't go right about the situation so you should be apologizing for that but with all this said i will still be watching oranges to new black I will still be watching Stranger Things. I will still be watching reruns of SpongeBob. I will still be watching whatever show my granddaughter wants to watch. I will still be watching the latest movies that come out. And I will still watching anything else I want to watch on Netflix. Every time you don't get your way, I will not be boy boycotted. It will have to be truly, 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 truly. A racial, a racial problem, it'll have to be sincerely, sincerely an issue in order for me to boycott. Not just a rant that your husband wanted you to do because he was mad. I'm going to need him to cut out the BS, change his tampon, and get it together. I'm going to need you to stop being his lap dog and go back to being fabu fabulous like you were. You are beautiful great at what you do don't let somebody pull you down it's like he has concrete blocks on your feet and he's trying to push you to the bottom of the sea cut those chains loose honey regain control of your career and continue to be beautiful